What's going on ladies and gentlemen? It is that time of the year again. We've got another G Fuel BOGO going on at the moment. And I wanted to go ahead and share with you guys what flavors I personally, right now, would recommend you pick up. Now, first off, I wanted to share that there's a few flavors that are exclusive and probably won't be coming back, such as a green lemonade and also some sour green apple. I'm having that right now. Those are kind of like BOGO exclusives. They also might bring back some stuff like Classified V2 um, and some other flavors here and there. They sometimes do that for a BOGO. I'm actually recording this video uh, before the BOGO because I'm actually going somewhere on a trip uh, from the 16th uh, to the 21st. So I'm recording this video before the BOGO. So I don't know if they brought back any exclusives, any more exclusives than green lemonade and sour green apple. Um, and also I wanted to say, since I'm recording this video before the BOGO actually starts, there might be some flavors that they don't actually include in the BOGO that I might recommend. So if they don't happen to include stage mode in the BOGO and I recommend it, I will try to give you guys alternatives that I think taste similar. Also, I decided to bring back the original G Fuel chair for a little bit, wanted to spice it up. I haven't really used this thing in a while, so let me know what you guys think. Do you prefer this chair in the videos or the other one? Let me know. Alright guys, so the first flavor that I want to recommend that you pick up is going to be my absolute favorite right now as of spring 2022. That is going to be Sage Mode, alright? Um, I will also link my reviews to all of these that I recommend down below in the description. But Sage Mode is literally my favorite flavor right now. I've had it almost every day since it has came out and it is... It's just amazing. I, I don't think I've liked a flavor this month since like Hive Nectar and maybe Blood Orange and S Shiny Splash and the Juice. It is just absolutely amazing. If you don't know the flavor of Sage Mode, it is a pomelo fruit with a white peach. So to put that short, a pomelo fruit is basically like a grapefruit. Uh, it's supposed to have some floral notes to it, but I personally don't get those at all. So in my opinion, it's kind of like, imagine peach rings mixed with maybe like a blood orange. It is amazing. The citrusness of the pomelo fruit sort of balances out the sweetness with like the peach taste. It is just an amazing flavor. Highly recommend it if it's available on the BOGO. If not, some other kind of citrus uh, refreshing flavors like that that I would recommend would have to be Hive Nectar. Highly recommend Hive Nectar and Stonks. Those would be the other ones that I recommend. So if hot, if Sage Mode isn't available on the BOGO, I would either pick up Hive Nectar or Stonks. They're both refreshing and citrusy, and I highly recommend them. Hive Nectar is a really interesting one. It's kind of like a refreshing sort of orange nectarine peach flavor. It's very good. It is not a honey flavor, just to let you know. I know by looking at the label it can look like honey, but it is not a honey flavor. It is kind of like, like I said, a peach nectarine with a little bit of an orange and it's citrusy. It is very good. Highly recommend it. And I also recommend Blood Orange or Stonks if that's available. All right, guys. So the next flavor that I personally would recommend you pick up right now is going to be Kiwi Mango. Now, this one, honestly, before you just go ahead and pick it up, let me say something. It is an amazing flavor. It's 9 out of 10 right now. It's in my God tier on my tier list. However, what I would say is that I think Kiwi Mango is amazing, but the, the Kiwi sometimes, it's kind of iffy with the Kiwi. You know, I've been finding myself not grabbing for it because of the Kiwi sometimes, but I still think it's an amazing flavor and I still recommend picking it up if mango is something you think you would like and kiwi as well. So definitely recommend mango kiwi. So next up, I'm gonna be recommending raspberry iced tea. Now I don't know if Nemesis iced tea will be available. If it is, I would pick up Nemesis iced tea instead. But raspberry iced tea will most likely still be available and, what, and the reason why I'm kind of iffy about it is the raspberry itself in raspberry iced tea. The raspberry is kind of a artificial raspberry. I don't really like it that much and it brings me away from having raspberry iced tea a lot. 
But if that's something you don't think you would mind, I personally would definitely recommend picking up raspberry iced tea, especially since it's spring and summer's coming up. Now, if you guys are looking for a milk flavor, what I can say is you will not be disappointed with confetti cake. That flavor is so good in milk. I highly, highly recommend it. If you guys are looking for a milk flavor, you can't go wrong with confetti cake. Now, if you don't like confetti cake, I'd recommend strawberry banana or strawberry shortcake. Those are very, very good in milk. Strawberry banana would be like the one above that I recommend. Now, you're probably wondering, Shock, what about Orange Vibe? I actually think Orange Vibe is almost better now that I've had it more often. I think it's better in water. I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I think Orange Vibe is actually better in water, but you might like it more in milk, so I'll still keep it in there in the milk category. But I would say confetti cake for me is my favorite milk-based flavor right now. And then also I think strawberry banana, you can't beat that. But strawberry shortcake and orange vibe are definitely still there and I recommend them. But strawberry banana and confetti cake would be the first two that I would recommend you buy if you're looking for a milk flavor. Now, if you're new to G Fuel and you've just joined, I would definitely recommend some more simple flavors. And what I mean by that is if I'm taking a look at my tier list here, I think flavors like Shiny Splash, Blueberry Lemonade, absolutely amazing, highly recommend it. Little bit more on the artificial blueberry, but I still think it's an amazing flavor. Uh, the juice is amazing and I highly recommend it as one of your first flavors. It's kind of like a watermelon fruit punch. Now, I don't think I'm gonna recommend Sage Mode or Hive as a beginner. I mean, I don't know. I want to, but I feel like they could be too complicated and it's hard to accurately say what they taste like. Um, you know, the juice, it's like a watermelon fruit punch. Everyone kind of can understand what that tastes like. It's really hard to describe what Hive and Sage Mode will taste like. So I kind of would steer away from them as your first flavor because it's hard to sort of guarantee if you'll like it or not. But flavors like Shiny Splash, it's like, yeah, Blueberry Lemonade. It's like, yeah, no, yes or no, I'm gonna like it. Now, if you don't think you would like Blueberry Lemonade, I would highly recommend Hype Sauce as one of your first flavors. It is a Raspberry Lemonade, very good, but the raspberry is still artificial in that one. You know, it's kind of weird that we don't have a completely natural tasting lemonade flavor. Now, I know we're gonna have green lemonade coming up, and I think that's gonna be pretty cool, but I'm saying like we don't have like something cool like passion fruit lemonade where this tastes real and the lemonade is real. Like we don't have a completely natural tasting lemonade flavor and I think we need one. Now also if you are a beginner to G Fuel, I would recommend some simple flavors like watermelon and battle juice because everybody knows what watermelon tastes like and everybody knows what pineapple tastes like. So. If you think you would like that, you'll like the G Fuel flavor because they taste exactly like watermelon and exactly like pineapple. So if you guys are into exotic type of fruits, you know, maybe you're from that area where you have a lot of exotic fruits like guavas and passion fruits and prickly pears and stuff like that, just exotic type fruits. Here are some flavors that I would recommend. I would obviously highly recommend guava. I think brain drive is another one that I would recommend. Uh, brain drive is a pineapple, guava, and kind of like a lemon flavor. It is amazing. I'd also recommend the new Crimson Tears G Fuel flavor inspired by Elden Ring. Uh, it is a prickly pear flavor. It's a very weird flavor, but it is refreshing. It is kind of light. And I think I would recommend it. I think it's a really good flavor and I think you guys should pick it up if you like exotic flavors. If you don't, I don't recommend picking it up because it can be a little weird. Um, but if you like kind of that guava passion fruity taste, prickly pear and crimson tears is amazing. I'd also recommend star fruit as an exotic flavor. It's kind of, star fruit's very, it, it, honestly, star fruit can be boring because it's so simple. Star fruit's just kind of like a light lemonade -y, citrusy flavor. It's nothing really too special. Um, that's why I kind of got bored of it, um, just because it's so simple. So I would recommend star fruit, but I do warn you guys, you may get bored of it after like your first tub. 
All right, guys, so now I wanted to cover the coconut category. So if you are a coconut per person, the number one flavor that I would recommend is Miami Nights. Pick that flavor up, it is amazing. Absolutely re recommend it, Miami Nights is amazing. Now the flavor of Miami Nights is a strawberry, coconut, pineapple, but the coconut is very light in it and I think that's why it's a very good flavor. I would highly recommend picking that up over like Fortune Blend, which is a pineapple coconut, or Bahama Mama. It, it's just, it's much, much better. Just let me put it that way. It is Miami Nights, they do coconut in that much better in my opinion. Now, finally, I wanted to go over some of my favorite candy flavors at the moment and what I personally would recommend you guys pick up. First off, for me, Strawberry Slushy. Highly, highly recommend Strawberry Slushy. It is an amazing freaking flavor. Um, it is just so good. I don't know, there's something about Strawberry Slushy. It is a very good flavor. It's one of the, it's one of my most favorite artificial like candy sort of slushy, you know, based flavors where it's not really based on a real thing, but I love it. I absolutely love it. And I highly recommend picking up Strawberry Slushy if you're somebody who's into sweet candy type flavors. Now I'd also recommend Peach Rings. That is an amazing candy based flavor and it tastes exactly like Peach Rings. And another one would be Pink Drip. Pink Drip, Honestly, it's kind of a lighter strawberry slushy, but I'd still recommend it because it tastes exactly like a pink Starburst. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I think that is about it for recommendations. Um, I actually put a lot more in this video than I thought I was gonna do for in terms of like recommendations, but if you guys have any questions or are wondering about picking up a flavor and you're not too sure about it, let me know down below. Just go ahead and ask me, hit me up on Twitter or something. Let me know what flavor you're thinking about getting and if you should get it and I'll hopefully get back to you guys and let you know what I'm thinking. But I wanna thank you guys for watching this video. If it helped you out, make sure to drop a like and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen.